There is no excuse for this incident. The Fort Worth Police Chief's response to a shooting Saturday morning in which a police officer shot and killed a woman in her own home. That officer, Aaron Dean, quit his job, now being charged with murder. NBC's Chris Pallone has our story. Aaron Dean. Former Fort Worth police officer Aaron Dean is free on bond after being charged with murder in the shooting death of a Tatiana Jefferson. Just for us, just for us. Dean's arrest warrant reveals new details about what happened early Saturday morning. Jefferson's eight-year-old nephew told investigators he and his aunt were playing video games when Jefferson said she heard noises coming from outside. He said Jefferson took her handgun from her purse, raised it, and pointed it toward the window. Then Jefferson was shot and fell to the ground. Put your hands up. Show me your hands. Dean never identified himself as a police officer as he and a partner searched around Jefferson's house early Saturday morning, called there by a neighbor concerned about an open door. It makes sense that she would have a gun if she felt that she was being threatened or there was someone in the backyard. Dean resigned Monday before he could be fired. Justice for this family means a murder conviction and an appropriate sentence. Jefferson's family says blame for her death extends beyond the officer who pulled the trigger. The system failed them. Whoever senior was with them, who not with them failed them. Whoever sent them out failed them. The training failed them. A lot that has to get fixed. The city failed them. Fort Worth's mayor says the city will hire an outside expert to evaluate every aspect of the police department, which has seen officers shoot and kill six people so far this year. Chris Pallone, NBC News. This tag of that story so far, neither former officer Aaron Dean nor his lawyer have responded to requests for an interview.